I think in one sense, um, we wanted to use the, the technologies of ubiquitous computing in the context of this larger exhibit to explore and connect the ecosystems of land and water. The project and installation that we're proposing is two interactive networks um, of floating tubes. Um, one at the Bronx River, one at the East River. Um, and those two networks themselves are connected by the water that flows between them. Each network um, consists of an array of, of these floating tubes. Um, and these tubes have uh, sensors below water and lighting above water. The sensors sense uh, water quality through dissolved oxygen and presence of fish through a sonar sensor and a hydrophone. And then the lights uh, respond to those sensors and create a kind of dynamic display. The context of how to um, reimagine the relationship between the terrestrial ecosystem and the aquatic ecosystem, I think, is an urgent and pressing design problem. And what opportunities do these new technologies present to kind of reimagine, restructure, recreate that participation, or reconnect um, the relationship of an urban body of water to the city is pretty much, you know, the view of it is very good for your real estate value. <laughs> the, um, it reflects, it's pretty, it's sweet, the, kind of the way that the redevelopment of the, the rediscovery of the waterfront has been proceeding in the last decade or two um, reifies the reflective surface of the water as something we value. Uh, amphibious architecture as an idea, I think, starts to engage it as a body <coughs> rather than as a, um, as a surface. The tradition of building in the water, which is typically called naval architecture, which is about building things that are big, concrete, and don't move, and don't uh, uh, spoil and resist any ecological forces, and you know, it's brutal. Um, so this is really to explore how it could be different. In the information age, I think there's a lot of data fetishism, and certainly um, there's no shortage of public information about water quality, the DEC, the EPA, the uh, um, various city agencies that collect this kind of data that is public data. Um, so this design produces, takes the data and displays it as a public spectacle and rescripts the interaction in situ. Well, I think all of us uh, have a, a, a kind of wide view of architecture and are interested in new definitions of architecture, new possibilities for architecture. And in that sense, I think the thing that we're installing, which is a grid of floating tubes, is architecture. And the space that we're installing it um, in, which is rivers that are next to a city, are potentially public spaces and also spaces of the city. You know, they're a continuation of the road, but they're you know off the off the map. Um, so. I think in that sense, this is very much a prototype of architecture in my mind. Um, but also, it's very much engaging the city and the buildings that are right next door. And the same water that normally reflects the skyline will be kind of activated with these other lights emanating from the water and will become part of this whole thing that we see as the city. The naval architecture always happens on the shore. And in a way, amphibious architecture uh, attempts to occupy and engage the body of water so that the water could become a more meaningful um, public space, urban public space for the people. There's an urgent demand on the larger design community to reimagine our relationship to natural systems.